Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy and tell we're back on Aliens Fight Team Elite, highlighting more information about the new class, some more additional information, highlighting what the new Season 1 could contain when it comes to the weapons, and some other categories of leak slash data mine information on Aliens Fight Team Elite. This should be quite fun to highlight on the channel, especially after our last video. If you haven't watched that, make sure to watch that, where we talk about the new class, the Fate Links, and what possibilities can arise from that. We'll talk about that more within this video as well as a follow up to what that could possibly be in the Season 1 drop in Aliens Fight Team Elite. So either way, this shall be fun. Before we do into this video, there's only a small percentage of mates to watch the video that are actually subscribed. Leave a like, show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member of the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. As a follow up to our last Fate Links class, we had some mates actually comment in the comment section, highlighting what they thought about this and connecting some of the dots and gathering some intel about that. One of the mates highlighted, not too long ago, I finished reading the Aliens Phalanx, a story about tribes of humans having to fight and survive on a planet with Xenomorphs with nothing but spears and shields. That dynamic on its own is quite interesting and could be very, very fun, but then also highlights it would be an interesting choice to make reference to, but I probably believe it's the Particle Beam Emitter, which is a reference to another thing that we'll talk about as we go. And the next main does highlight, check it out, independently targeting Particle Beam Phalanx. You can fry half a city with this pup, and that was a reference to Hudson in the Aliens movie, as pretty much going to be possibly a heavy tank class that uses a particle beam weapon. So that's some of the information that we have. Hopefully we highlight the original clip as well. Check it out. Independently targeting particle beam failing. <laughs> Fry half a city with this puppy. Right now or before, highlighting some of the possibilities and alongside that idea being a tank class kind of fits that profile of the Phalanx class being more tanky. And the weapon that can possibly come with this will be based on laser, plasma, or even utilize electric rounds of some sort to actually stun creatures. But with the actual ammo being really placed within the weapon category itself of that heavy weapon. So that could be very interesting there. So you don't have to get any extra rounds, like instant rounds or other rounds to replace it. It's already got the electricity effect as a status effect on the weapon as its main ammo usage. And also for one of the most recent updates, one of the mates actually got a new perk that's in the game currently, maybe made for the new class, the Phalanx, and that perk is called Aftershock. A modified perk only for a certain class, and we think that's gonna be for the Phalanx class, since you can't find this perk in game currently, but you can earn it from a hidden cache. So it's kind of interesting. And the description of the ability is, a shock pulse leaves behind an electric field for 10 seconds, slowing any enemies that make contact with it. And this is kind of interesting because you're living a shock pulse electricity status effect. Same way that you'll use the coils or the charge coils on the tech class. That could be the same thing here, but it's based on the trail or being behind a character. And that will kind of fit the Phalanx class carrying some type of shield and possibly leaving behind an electric field for that 10 second duration that does slow and damage over time. So that's crazy to see that happen and it could be a great possibility. So the idea of this being a more of a melee build or tanky character that carries a shield is getting closer and closer to that certainty. But the idea of having a character that does melee damage only is very low, but having an ability to pretty much shove or crowd control with the shield is a great possibility. And now we should have a standstill image highlighting a point within a trailer for Aliens Fight Team Elite where they highlight some cosmetics that's purely white on a character that looks quite tanky carrying a smart gun, which seems to fit the class information of Phalanx and the way it could possibly look in this game be more of a heavy tanky class in the game of Aliens Fight Team with more of a modern take. So that can kind of fit that style but most likely this is just gonna be some type of way lane tech armor synthetic armor thing because we have synthetics that also wear arm like this when they're in the heavy category. So that kind of fits that same profile. So the chance of that being the new class is maybe very low, but possibility of this being a season one DLC for cosmetic benefits is pretty darn high, which you can also get from the Endeavor Pass within the game. And the last two things are some weapons that we can expect that can come in the future. At some point, as maybe a season one drop could be a possibility is the L59 minigun, which seems more like a synthetic minigun of some sort with a plasma tech weaponry, possibly. That could be the same thing that fits the new class, the Phalanx. Great chance of this occurring, the L59 minigun. It does fit that same profile, but it isn't called a plasma beam minna for that, so that card kind of missed the quotes there, but we'll find out as we go. Another option is the L33 Pike. It's an assault rifle of some sort that falls into the sniper slash rifle section of the game in Aliens Fight Team. That's another expected weapon that we could possibly get in Season 1 or Season 2. So expect these weapons could be coming out at any time. Some of the items that we discuss within this video is leaked in data mine, so there's a great chance that it can actually appear within the game or vice versa, not appear in the game. So expect that when it comes to the information that we did discuss today and other 
others are based on assumptions such as another ability that Phalanx could have, which is bringing the aggression of Xenos towards his shield. And depending on the amount of Xenos in a radius around him, that mitigates the damage he takes per strike with his shield out. That could be a possibility and that could be something I could see happening within the game. And that does sound like a super fun class if it has those properties. I can't wait to see it. But mates, expect more news about this very, very soon. We'll highlight it more and more as we get closer to the season one drop on September 8th for Aliens Fight Team Elite. But mates, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about it? Do you want to hear more about this? Do you want to hear less? I would love to know. And are you interested in the Phalanx class? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this. And I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 100k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.